love pain sorry um basically i don't know what happened was i was trying to record this video um, but i wanted to record it a bit earlier i'm sorry if this mic is bad um it's i've kind of broken my headset a bit um but yeah basically what i'm trying to so basically i wanted to post this all last night like i finish it um but i physically couldn't I've, I deleted the game, but I uploaded all of my, like, data to the cloud so that I could just reinstall it. Um, and it's because a PS5 software came out, so I didn't have number 5, so... Yeah, anyway, let's get into this. Oops, let's get into this, anyway, let's get into this video. There is a key difference between a good friend and a bad one. Good friends do what you ask. They enjoy what you make for them. They never betray you. Jesse is a perfect example of what we call a bad friend. Other bad friends include, in no particular order, Fred and Zara. Ultimately, all losers who refuse to appreciate the gifts they've been given. Now me, I won't stand for ingratitude. So I took my gifts away. Oh, but then, then, just when I thought I'd found a promising new friend... <sighs> Such a disappointment. That is when I had a brilliant idea. The perfect way to weed out the bad friends from the good. To be appreciated. I became Jesse. I was right, of course. The plan worked immediately. Jesse's good friends flocked to me. A the better Jesse. <sighs> and now poor Jesse is dead, having never learned his lesson. The saddest part of all, really, is that Jesse will never get to see how much better I've made Beacon Town. <laughs> oh, yes! to fortify these tunnels into town. Speaking of fighting admins, I can't help but wish we still had Zara around. I know she was... Well, she was a little much. But having an ex-admin on our side seems like it could have come in handy. Oof, I guess. She still scared me, though. I, for one, am glad to have her behind Well, me. I'm sure there are people out there who would say the same thing about us. But, yeah, sure. Maybe Zara's lucky being where she is right now. She's not currently marching towards a fight with the Admin. I'm just glad that friends of Fred stayed at the entrance to that... that Heckmouth. This is far too dangerous for them. Yeah. Jesse, when Romeo finds out what we're trying to do, we've seen what he does. I don't want to end up like Fred. I don't want Beacon Town to be like Zara's town. We've seen so many terrible things that Romeo's done. I just can't even handle thinking about that happening to the others, to our home. Yes, things look impossible, and they might be, but I believe in all of us. Look how far we've come. Look at all the impossible we've already done. We can do this. I know it seems hopeless, but we can't give up now. There are people up there counting on us, and we are not going to let them down. Hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Let's do it. Woo! My, that was loud. Here we go. Mm. 
no. You guys want to bet that's where the primary terminal is? The giant floating tower with no clear entrance? Yeah, probably. We've got to find a way up there. Might be a good idea to hit the map shop. Regroup, get some supplies. Yeah, yeah, that sounds good. with Axel and Olivia. We gotta hide. Oh, typical. Heading exactly where we wanted to go. Then I guess we just can't get caught. Why exactly are we having a whole festival devoted solely to you? Do we really have to go up on stage with you in front of everyone? Enough! You two are gonna need to do a lot less talking and a lot more agreeing if you want to be a part of Beacon Town. Not so sure I do, actually. In fact, we were just about to head home. I'd be very careful if I were you guys, or there might not be a home to go back to. At all. It's just so easy for something bad to happen to a town. Like Champion City, for example. And boom! <laughs> chance. What? You were always so worried about Champion City, and now, one less thing to worry about. Olivia, Axel. Oh my gosh. I knew it. I just knew it. <gasps> Whoa, am I seeing double? Shh. Jesse, I... What is... Come on, I'll explain everything. We have to get off the streets. To the map shop, quick. I don't know what to say. Admins? A world beneath the bedrock? Yeah, I still think you made that part up. I mean, I'm relieved that the Jesse out there isn't the real you, but... But nobody else knows that. What if everyone in Beacon Town turns on you? I mean, with what just happened outside? Axel and I almost did. Look, the admin is good, but he's not good enough to have everyone fooled, right? It's a pretty good Jesse impression. I mean, a totally evil version, but yeah. But you said there's a way to stop this guy, right? 
Citra. Horrible Estella may be working for the admin and all. Nobody deserves that. Her whole city gone in an instant. Add it to the list of horrible things the admin's going to pay for. So glad you guys are okay. Did Jesse tell you about the potato yet? The what? In the underneath, we got our hands on something called a word of passage. Hashtag potato451. I know it sounds weird, but it's supposed to take away the admin's powers for good. Oh, I can't wait to see his face when that happens. Look at the state of my poor shop. I'm almost glad Nermi doesn't have to see the old girl looking like this. Is it even safe to hide out in here? <laughs> yeah, it used to be the safest place around. That was before the admin's goons were everywhere. It's safer than being out in the open. Yeah, yeah, I guess that's true. Getting into that tower won't be easy. Hopefully, there's still something useful in here. Everyone, take a look around. Shout if you find anything. While you guys do that, I'm gonna keep watch. Surprised nobody wanted to take these. Too bad they don't help us, though. You okay there, Jack? Uh, fine, I guess. Just feeling a little violated at someone coming in here and robbing the place. Priceless artifacts and mementos gone. I promise, Jack, we're gonna get everything back once we defeat the admin. Yeah, you're right. Probably just fixating on this to distract myself. In the meantime, we'll keep looking around. Might be something useful in here yet. Uh, thanks, Jesse. I appreciate it. Hey, you two. What's up, Jesse? You two haven't seen Lucas around, have you? We got separated when the admin zapped us to his prison. No, he... he's just been missing. Kind of went underground. I'm... I'm sure he's okay, though. When you thought the admin was me, did he tell you anything? About a terminal, maybe? No, the guy's a jerk. Never answered a single question. He does spend a lot of time in that floating tower, though. Would she never let us go to? What brought you both back to Beacon Town? Yeah, we, uh, we heard something weird was going on. I had no idea how weird until we saw the lava, though. I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay, we'll be here, keeping an eye out. <laughs> Almost forgotten about that stash. Are these elytra wings? Those are super rare. Yeah, got them one time when I made a trip to the end. Nothing better for gliding. What was that? Sight again, Nerm. Never again. <laughs> but how did you get out of that prison? Because I broke them out. Ah. Ah. Ivor, what on earth were you just doing, hanging out up there? Jesse, I'm a ninja. Where else would I be? That is a nice outfit, Ivor. I know. 
Thank you! Oh, oh my, oh my gosh. Do you know who that is? That is Ivor, founding freaking member of the Order of the Freaking Stone. That is a legend, standing in front of us, Nurm, within arm's reach. Trust me, Jack. Best thing around Ivor, just be yourself. Uh, yeah, that, uh, that makes a whole lot of sense. Thanks, Jesse. Well, here goes. Ivor? Of the Order of the Stone? Whew. This is quite the pleasure. Huh. Well, yes. Of course it is. And you are... Oh, me? Oh, I'm, uh, the, uh, the, uh, stock, the, uh, stab, well, from the... I'm, uh... <laughs> Nobody. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> He's Jack. Oh, well, hello! Always nice to meet a fan. Uh, <clears throat> yeah. Anyway, I am happy to report that your plan for the admin worked perfectly. He fell for my deception hook, line, and sinker. My story about you dying in your escape attempt? Admin loved it. And after the admin's appetite for Jesse's destruction was satisfied, I returned to the prison by cover of night to free your friend from that cursed place. Between both of our enormous intellects, we figured out a simple way to disarm maximum security and escape without being blown to smithereens. It was incredibly difficult, and took many, many days of intense mental activity. Well, you're a hero, Nurm. Jack should watch out. You might start stealing his glory. Nurm, the Sunshine Rock. Ooh. Now that the team is back together, Ivor, we need to stop the admin. We're supposed to use our word of passage at the primary terminal. Jesse thinks it's up in the tower. Yes, I believe that's exactly where it is. I've heard him reference such a thing several times. No one thinks to check for eavesdropping ninjas. I have learned a lot of information that way. Let me guess, there's guards, right? Yes, yes. Though I requested a post there, the admin appointed special golems to patrol the place. Just, uh... You sure we can't, like, reason with this admin guy? You know, talk it out. You? Wanting to talk it out? Jesse taught me to keep the explosions in Boomtown. Well, that's not... You can't reason with this guy, Axel. Trust me. Yeah. Some people just don't want to be reasoned with. As soon as this guy sees us, he'll just blink us out of existence. I'm formulating a plan. We just need a distraction. Maybe a distraction like Jesse's big speech at the start of JesseCon? That sounds great, but Elytra wings don't exactly go up. <laughs> they do with fireworks. Nerm, think you could get me a map of Beacon Town? Hmm. Here's the plan. Like Jack said, we need fireworks. Which the admin has stockpiled backstage at the event! Wait, isn't Stella in charge of fireworks for this thing? Perfect. We never get backstage without fireworks skilled uniforms. So we find Stella, she shows us where they are. I'll grab them. We suit up, and boom, backstage passes. Once we're there, we swipe some fireworks. Wait, what am I doing? You're gonna be getting me a bucket of water. We'll get to that. While we're getting the fireworks, Axel and Olivia will distract the admin. Are you sure I can't just blow up the stage? Uh, that would be distracting. Axel? Then we wait until the big fireworks finale. The what? It's Romeo. I promise you, there will be a huge fireworks finale. Petra and Jack will wait in the order hall. The second those fireworks go off, I go airborne. Once I land, I use the bucket of water to create a waterfall. Oh, I was wondering what it was for. And the three of us will head into the tower and use hashtag potato451 to strip the admin of his powers before he even knows. See? Piece of cake. 
That might just be the best crazy I've heard in a while. Jesse, this could work. Explosions, excitement, explosions. I love it. This all starts with getting Stella to help us, though. Yeah, she's pretty tight with that admin guy. Is she a friend of yours? She did seem kinda awful. Champion City was torn down. We all saw it. Stella's been hurt by the admin, too. There has to be a way to get through to her. Yeah, I wouldn't bet on that. Well, Stella does know where the Fireworks Guild uniforms are. I could follow her to them, and then we wouldn't have to talk. Great. Can I say how much I don't like this plan? You can, because you're staying here. Only Jesse stands a chance on the streets, because Jesse is the admin. You don't exactly look like the you we saw earlier. You'll have to change. Jesse, I know you think Stella's just another victim of the admin, but be careful, okay? I think Jesse should be more worried about the admin showing up during this plan. Good luck, friend. One serving of admin coming up. I can do this. Find Stella. An ocelot? What is that for? Uh huh. This place just keeps getting weirder and weirder. destroy his home what did champion city do to you destroying homes left and right absolutely no regard for people's lives it wasn't me it was someone disguised as me Psh, sure deny any accountability you really have changed oh i need this to end once and for all <laughs> i did it jesse I did what you asked. Now there are pork chops for everyone. Would you like to taste one? I made it myself. They're fresh. I promise. No, no thank you. And you know what? You could change to carrots if you wanted. I'll, I'll do that. Thank you, Jesse. Maybe, maybe I'll get some new pigs, hmm? I'll name them Dennis and Countess Pink Paisley the Fourth. <laughs> Hope that didn't get this guy in trouble.
<laughs> Yo, Jesse, dude. Just unveiled the new statue you built. Oh, yeah. It's got, um, character? Yeah, I kind of liked the old one, but... Whoa! Hey, I mean, you know what? This one is totally rad. I cannot keep my eyes off it. <laughs> yeah. Kind of feels like it's, like, following me sometimes, though, you know? Like I see it out of the corner of my eye. And just like that! Bam! Whoa! It is pretty great, isn't it? I wouldn't change a thing. Ja, ja, sure. Go with your gut, totally. Whoa! What? just came by to once again admire the update I did to my paltry first attempt at a statue. I really feel it's some of my best work. Yup, yup, coolio. Just keeping it the way it is forever. <laughs> yup. Keep it, uh, hanging, Nelly dude. Catch you on the flip side. Fireworks and banners. Uh, it's not my fault. I, I understand. Then hire more people. Force them, conscript them, I don't care. Jesse Khan will be the greatest thing this town has ever seen, or I will personally ensure you pay the price. Where the heck am I supposed to get more people? Bingo, that's our ticket in. It's now or never. Perfect. Now we can... Oh, Gravel, where are those extra Jesse banners? Oh! Stella! Jesse! Back so soon! <laughs> Since when do you... Hmm. You're not the admin, are you? Hmm? Hmm? It's no use hiding the truth. I am not the admin. For I am actually the real bona fide... Jesse! I knew it! Keep your voice down, all right? Huh! That is bold. I'll give you that. Coming back when the admin can just blab you into oblivion? Okay, give me one reason I shouldn't just hand you over to him right now. After everything you've done to me, or not done for me. He won't believe you. Ivor convinced the admin the real Jesse was already taken care of. Bringing another Jesse would waste his time and make him mad, and you wouldn't want that. Ugh, he can be insufferable like that. Fine. It's not like your pathetic plan will work anyway. He'll destroy you the moment you try. Nice seeing you too, Stella. And of course, as Jesse, I've got my best friends, Olivia and Axel, with me, don't I? Oh. Who are you? Yes, thanks, Jesse. We love being your best friend. Don't we, Axel? Oh, yeah, totally. 
the resemblance is uncanny. It's amazing. More like terrifying. What's wrong, Binta? The admin. He's right there. Right in front of me. All the suffering he's caused. Killing Fred. Inflicting sorrow on my people. He's so close. I could just charge the stage and take my justice now. Standing here idly. Seeing that smile. He's not as terrible as you paint him. You're joking, right? I just keep thinking about that tree he planted for Fred. I really think he could be redeemed. And as Jesse, you're Jesse. I'm glad we Let's as a go to work. Of course it was mandatory, but I sensed that you wanted to come anyway. So thank you for understanding just how important I am to you. No one permitted back here except... Fireworks, you mean, huh? Jeez, well, get back there then. Thank you. Now we can get to our jobs that we're totally qualified to do. I'll find a bucket and report back. Good luck. I hope you can pull this off. No fireworks. Just stuff. Come on. Who plans a convention with no fireworks? See? The admin's human. He's messy, just like us. Yeah, he's a slob. Big whoop. But wh what are we supposed to do with no fireworks? I guess we'll just need to make some. There has to be enough supplies to craft some paper around here. Then... All we need is gunpowder, and a fireworks star. Oh, that would really add some flash. We'll keep a lookout on the exits and stage. Okay, at least it looks like the fireworks union guys already dropped off the fireworks stars. Which one should I take? This one should give me a blue star shape. Very cool. Huh. A copy of Lucas's book. Whoever owns this chess must be a fan. Invisibility potions. You'll have to take my word for it. They're fantastic. Wait, you had invisibility potions this whole time? Yes, but Ninja Law says you must wait for the most dramatic time to use them. What? Why? I don't know. I'm not a ninja lawyer. Do you have any more? More what? Invisibility potions. Uh, nope. Sadly, I drank my last one to surprise you here. But I'll be watching you. From the shadows. Ow. Ooh, sugar cane. Stupid. Gunpowder. Perfect. Okay, let's get crafting.
there's a firework. Nice. Now just need to- Hey, Glenn, I- Wait a minute. You ain't Glenn. And you ain't- <laughs> huh. Yeah. That felt... That felt good. Really good. Look, you might think the admin is nice, but I know the truth. I did what I had to do. We've come too far to second-guess ourselves, and we can't let anyone get in our way, even if it's a bystander. You can't take all your anger out on that one guard. He was just doing his job. Yeah, you're right. Technically. But his job shouldn't be pulling his sword on us. Ha! Huh, not bad. Yeah, I think we've given Binta a bit of a taste for combat. Did you get the bucket? Right here. Good luck up there. I'm going to check on my people. You're welcome back here when this is over. Thank you, Jesse, for everything. Okay, all strapped in, fireworks ready. need to Oh perfect just what I needed Ah too slow dummy come at me ugly Uh oh Oh that was close Okay time to get the others I'm glad to see that waterfall. Yeah, we were getting kind of nervous down there. Sorry, the welcoming committee was a little strict. Come on, let's get inside. Okay, I'm not the only one that finds all this silence freaky, right? This place is dead. Definitely strange. Though I imagine you might be relieved to have a little quiet right now, huh? I was almost expecting, I don't know, another huge boss battle or something when we got in here. Yeah, the admin definitely seems to like those. But nothing. Don't be fooled, guys. If it's this quiet on our way to depower the admin, then it's gotta be a trap. Well, I'm not seeing anything trappish yet, but I'll keep an eye out. Come on! 
out and play! Uh, hey guys, what's going on? Stand down, Ocelots! Lucas! Looks like the tables have finally turned, huh, Jesse? We can't let you keep doing what you're doing. That... that's enough. Oops! So sorry. Puppy dog eyes won't get you anywhere right now. Not anymore. Now, hang on, everyone. No. It's our turn to talk. Not yours. Not anymore. I reformed the Ocelots because I wanted to remind everyone of how things were before. And most of all, I wanted to remind you. No, Because but... the Jesse I know wouldn't be running around on some power trip locking people up. Lucas. So yeah, I set your prisoners free. What are you gonna do about it? Yeah, and telling us our builds were ugly. It wasn't me that locked you all up, it was the admin. Wait, what? No, you said you defeated the admin. Everything you think I've told you since I came back from the Ice Palace was a lie. The admin locked me in a prison underground, took my identity, came back here, and pretended to be me. That is... No. How do we know this isn't a trick? No trick, friend. And it's not the first time. My friend Voss, the admin did the same thing with him. Yeah, we saw the whole thing. Is this really true? All those horrible things you did that... Okay. Yeah. It's you. Well, now that we have that sorted out... What in the world are we gonna do next? Wait, why are you even in here? We're trying to get to something called the terminal. We have a word of passage. <coughs> Potato! That we can apparently use to take away the admin's powers for good. Yeah, a lot of that was way over my head, especially the potato, but I'm in. You just lead the way, and the new ocelots will have your back. Well, would you look at this? Romeo's quite the Jesse memorabilia collector. I know we don't have much time, but it might be smart to suit up properly. Agreed. Bet Magnus would be proud to know his armor was helping take down an admin. Now you look like you're ready for a showdown. Agreed. Oh, thanks, guys. Time to end this. Ocelots! Oh! Okay, if I were a terminal, what would I look like? Why, hello there. Wasn't expecting you. Oh, crud. What's the move here, Jesse? Maybe you're confused, but this is my office. Heard there might have been people trying to break in, so... Here I am. Hang on, let me try and reason with him. Uh, hello? Jesse? It's over, admin. We're here to... Excuse me, excuse me, we? What? Where are they? Where'd they go? Oh, I am so upset that you're back. That wannabe ninja, Ivor, told me you were dead. Hearing that made me feel great. This? This makes me feel... Ugh, bad. Guess it was just a temporary case of death. Oh, you smug, arrogant, insignificant. What, pray tell, are you hoping to accomplish by challenging me? I don't know if you've noticed, but I'm just a touch more powerful than you. I know. That's why I'm not here to fight you. I want to talk this over. Jesse, a uh, Jesse. Ugh, talking it out? What's the point in that? That's what losers do. Real people, awesome people, settle their differences with... with... Sounds like that's the perfect thing for us to be doing then. Loser. Did you... Really? Seriously? I'm having a hard day too, you know! Oh, 
And you know what? It's just as well you're back. Because being Jesse is the worst! Oh yes, yes, I said it! I hate being you! Your, your people, your friends, they're so needy, so clingy! I have to listen to their stupid voices day after day after day, just asking for things. I, mean, I, I thought being Jesse meant that people would do what I wanted to do. No one ever asks what I want! Well, I'm back now. I, I, I can help you take back over. Yeah! Uh, yeah. Yeah, I suppose you could. Yeah. It's just... <laughs> But it was fun at first. I'd show them some super amazing display of my awesome powers. They'd laugh. I'd laugh. But soon they were just asking me to do that all the time. <laughs> you, know, you know what's funny? You've made me see something. I mean, it's starting to feel like maybe I should just leave being Jesse to you. You know? <laughs> the, the, the genuine article. <laughs> yeah, but maybe that is the best way to proceed. I'm really glad you think so, because I think that's a good idea. Oh, thanks, Jesse. I appreciate that. <sighs> well, this has all been terribly enlightening, and I, I think we've all learned some great lessons here that I will totally remember for next time. Next time? Yeah. The next world I build after I bedrock over yours. Oh, I'm gonna get it totally right with that one. No! A whole new set of people. A whole new world. Oh, I'll be a great leader. A great friend next time around. I should thank you for all these... these wonderful little lessons you've helped me to learn. Now hang on a second, Romeo. We can still be friends. You don't have to bedrock over anything. Yeah? You... you really think so? Yes! Mm. Nah. Bedrocking time! Oh well! Toodles! Oh, this doesn't seem good! Oh, you guys are okay! Yeah, he just blipped us back to the hallways again. Such a... Ooh. Such a jerk. We need to take his powers away. Find the terminal space. The roof. That's where the admin keeps his portal to the terminal thing. Go! Come on! We need to get to that portal before the bedrock closes up. Here. Yeah, but we don't know where here is. Is that the clock from the admin's tower? Yeah, <clears throat> I mean, uh... I, uh, found the Colossus. 
The trip down memory lane is nice and all, but how do we find the primary terminal thingy? Hashtag potato four five one. It was, uh, it was a good thought, but, uh... Password protocol initiated. It's him! Oh, it's just more of his stupid recordings. You've selected password protocol. Oh, it's like a automatic assistant or something. Welcome to Terminal Space. Well, shall we? So, wait. He has this whole assistant thing set up, but only he ever comes here? The automated personal assistant system was developed to aid the mighty admin in menial tasks and help his friends navigate the terminal space. Man, so when he first made all this, he was still hoping his friends would come here, too. Kind of makes me feel bad for him, actually. Nobody ever said it was easy to... to begin a new program. I... that was all over my head. Password, password, password. That must be the word of passage. Hashtag potato 451. Sounds like progress, right? It's empty? Waiting for material request. I mean, it must be talking about the potato, right? Sounds right to me. Uh, potato? Please? Acquiring potatoes! Items dispensed. Thank you! Wait, two potatoes? Yeah, a normal one and a poisoned one. Which one do we use? I mean, the word of passage didn't say anything about poison, but it did have that weird hashtag thingy. That might mean something? Oh, I don't think that symbol ever actually means anything. Hmm, gotta figure out which one is correct. This is right. Parrot party protocol initiated. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm guessing that's not quite right. Agreed. Sorry, parrots. And there we go. Was that a good thing? Thud or a bad thud? It's Fred? Zara, hi. If you're seeing this recording, well, I guess the worst has happened. And you just put the word of passage into the primary terminal. I wish the terminal could just take away Romeo's admin powers. It'd be easier that way. But making this gauntlet was the best I could do. Put your hand into the pedestal to receive the gauntlet. It's got the power to make Romeo normal again. It 
might take a few hits to remove his powers entirely, but it'll get the job done. Do you understand? Then good luck, Sara. You're... Well, I think you might need it. Well, here goes nothing. What do you think you're doing? What's happening? We're here to stop you, Romeo, once and for all. I told you, your world's done. No take that! <laughs> Jesse, hurry! What's 